it's not going to always work out. Mm. <laughs> uh, and we were talking, you know, so, something else we were talking about off air. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a great example of that. Uh, you know, I came out highly rated high school, number three, number four player in the state. Mm. Went to camps with the likes of Garnett, Allen Iverson. Uh, you know, so I was in that world. Got to college, started for you know better part of two years. Uh, then I stopped working. Welcome to Young the Ball Podcast. What's going on, family? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball with Jonathan Jones. And uh, we're on location. We're live on location at Highland Park High School. You see the, see the backdrop back here. Uh, we're in the midst of, of camp exposure happening. And, you know, it's just a great opportunity for us to be able to connect with some young men uh, and really just expose them to, you know, life outside of sports and life in addition to sports. And, and I'm, I'm here today with... I'm just gonna call you Mr. Reveal Suits. I'm, I'm, the, I'm, I'm, I'm the suit guy. Mr. Yeah, the, the suit guy. You know what I'm saying? The, the suit guy. How, how, how you doing, Mr. Dixon? How I'm doing, doing well, man. It's a uh, it's just awesome to be here. Um, love to see the the young men and everything that they're getting uh, exposure to. Uh -huh. No pun intended, but uh, yeah, it's just awesome to be here. For sure, man. For Thanks sure. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. And and, to, and today was well, today was day three, mm -hmm. and this was this was the career fair. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I had the opportunity got got to meet with some other business owners. And then you know, you you sponsored the event today, didn't you? The, we provided the suits for the young men you that, provided that, that the they were suit. rocking today. Wow. Yes. Wow. What, what what was in your heart that said this makes sense? I I, I want to contribute to this cause and what they got going on. Oh man, they uh, you know I've, I've I've been them, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a uh, inner city product, South Dallas. Uh, shout out to Lincoln Tigers. Um, I'm a I'm a product, right? Okay. And so I've I've been in their shoes. Uh, I know what it means to kind of have to back up against the wall, not have all the same resources that mm -hmm. the counterparts at you know in other areas of mm -hmm. town have. And so for me to uh, have the capability uh, to provide uh, suits for them for today giving them the, you know, a little increased confidence and yeah. the shoulders, you know, yeah. kind of raised up a little bit more, uh, but they feel good, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and, and it just, uh, it was a no brainer when Tyler and Tiffany presented the opportunity. Uh, I have a, although we're a custom suit company, mm -hmm. I do have a collection of some inventory uh, that I do like to use for, you know, donations, goodwill, for sure. and couldn't have been a better uh, beneficiary than Camp Exposure. For sure, and I yeah. mean, I, I was seeing, I was seeing some of the cuts. I was telling you, I was yeah. seeing some of the suits and, yeah. and seeing like how it really lit up the guys. Mm -hmm. But then even just see, because when I the first time I put on a suit, it it, it just changes. Like you 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 want to walk a little bit absolutely. different. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, just, just like just you like you get different. a nice haircut. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's yeah, right. It's, yeah. It's, it's it's one of those things that when you put it on, you look in the mirror, you see yourself. You're like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hold on, I didn't know this young man before. Yep. Yeah. But now I'm introduced to him. I want to see him more often. Exactly. Exactly. It was, uh, and and that was the effect that I hope uh, was was provided mm -hmm. uh, with with that donation. Uh, and then we even got to take them through a little bit of the process. You know, uh, they tried on the suits. They picked what they liked. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, hey, it doesn't stop right here because you're gonna put it on. And my tailor, my tailors were on site. Okay. And so we still trimmed it up for them, mm. tapered it where it needed to be mm. tapered. So. Uh, they got to see just a little bit uh, of a glimpse of the the custom uh, the custom suit experience. I so like it. Hope to have them back for more. Uh, you know, would love to you know talk with any of them about you know the, the business, being an entrepreneur, mm. uh, whatever insight I can provide. Uh, for sure. Yep. And then I, and I also want to just say this because we were talking about it before off cam, but just talking about how being at, at Camp Exposure and then like. Go, going through that process of where you know you you, you all collaborated with the suits mm -hmm. and you also got to do some education because mm -hmm. for me and i learned this later right i still in my closet i still have like some some 44 longs yeah. and yeah. some 42 longs yeah. and they don't fit yeah because i i went in and i'm like okay i'm i'm tall i'm mm -hmm. long, long so this yep. is what i'm gonna get yep. and then later to realize that it's not supposed to fit mm -hmm. like that <laughs> so you know just having an opportunity for for you you know the the the, the proprietor of this business and you know you being able to show them educate mm -hmm. that, that that's a big deal at this age yeah the educational piece um you know it was when they when they walked into our inventory or saw our inventory um uh, you know so you may have a 
a young man who's 5'10", mm -hmm. you know, 180. Uh -huh. He saw a pattern that he liked, but that pattern was a 44 long. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, eh, this <laughs> kind of, I cannot make this happen for you. But here's why. Mm -hmm. There's only mm -hmm. so much allowance of fabric in the room, blah, blah, blah. If we try to condense it too much, it'll compromise the look of the jet. So I was able to share that, uh, share some of that with them. And they were like, okay. So they, uh, they ended up finding things that were either close to their size mm -hmm. or more spot on. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Excellent. So, so with you now being Mr. Reveal Suits. Oh man. Right? And, you, you, and you, you, you were sharing with me like how, how long the process took, mm -hmm. but like how, how, how did we get here? Cause you, you know, for, former, for, former, former Hooper, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you said you went to Lincoln. I did. Right. And Lincoln was known for basketball. Oh, Lincoln man. is known for basketball. Couple state championships. Yeah. Yes sir. Yeah, indeed. yeah, yeah. yeah. Indeed. Link, you know, Link, Lincoln is Lincoln. Lincoln you know? is Lincoln. Yeah, Lincoln yeah. is Lincoln. And then, and then we, and then we get, then we get to UT. Mm -hmm. But like, t t just just talk with us a little bit through how how we got here from not knowing about 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 this business just yet. Yeah, um, I'll even start it back just kind of when I was at UT. So I was I was always that student athlete that would, you know, I wanted to know about um, I wanted to know about marketing. I mm -hmm. wanted to know about how they were promoting our games. I wanted to know about um, you know just everything that came along with the business side oh, you know what was okay. the community service piece of it and how were we attracting local austin kids to fill the arenas and like i was i was that student athlete wow right? okay um <laughs> and so i've always been interested in um in business aspects in some type of way right mm. um and so with that in mind ultimately became a high school athletic director uh, north dallas high school um uh, here in dallas and that was where the vision was formed. Um, watching young men on NBA, NFL draft nights, you know, kind of getting creative with their suits, right? Mm -hmm. But a few of them start doing some things, uh, you know, creative on the inside, putting pictures of their family, their native country flag on the inside, uh -huh. whatever the case may be. Uh -huh. And then a couple of guys, Marcus Smart most notably, uh, he paid tribute to his school on, in, on his inner lining. And I was like, oh, that was kind of cool. Uh, school representation with a suit. And then I saw a couple more guys do it later. And I was like, wait, we all have polos and t-shirts and caps with, either with our alma mater or our favorite team, whatever. I got Longhorn polos out of this world, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I was like, wait, the suit thing, I wonder. Mm. And that's where, I remember telling my wife, I was just like, somebody's probably doing it Somebody, the product probably exists. I'm probably getting excited for nothing. Um, but after doing some research, some consistent research, uh, saw that the product wasn't out there, kind of got some early feedback from some people. Hey, it's, it's kind of what I'm thinking. I have no idea how to design a suit at all. But, really? Okay. Oh, no, I wasn't a fashion guy, man. I'm a, I, I was a hooper, man. I'm, I'm shorts and flip flops and, you know, by, by nature. But I saw, uh, I saw a potential product that wasn't being done. And so I had to, I had to go for it and believed in it enough so much to the fact that uh, I decided to resign as athletic director, Man. which was my dream job. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, but I just knew in my gut, I was just like, there is something here, There's something here. So now I got to teach myself about fashion. I got to see how, Supposed to get these marks, and my UT people don't get mad, but this is my Arkansas Razorback collection. Uh, the older UT folks, that was a big rivalry, so no, no harm meant. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, had to learn how do we get these marks? How do I get approved mm. to get this mark inside okay. my suit? I don't know how to do that. Gotta call the NCAA and find out. I mean, so it was just a lot of, I had to teach myself a lot. Man. Yeah, uh, but that's where the competitor comes in. You know, I'm still, I still play ball, still hate to lose. Uh, and so I had that same energy here. It's just like, I'm on to it, I'm on to it. Now I can't lose. Can't lose. I might get scored on, you know, a little bit along the way. You, you can relate, you're, you're a hooper. Uh, you know, may have a turnover here every now yeah, and then. Yeah. But I have to find out how to you know, I don't, wasn't doing it to become a billionaire, but this is something that I now have said, this product could probably be possible. Now I want to be the one to make it 
come to fruition. Wow. Okay, so mm-hmm. I want to just I want to just rewind and just recap yeah. what you said. Yeah. Okay. So first you 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 f- first going back, you said the marketing piece, right? You said you were interested in marketing when I, you were a student athlete. I want to know how UT athletics was was run behind the scenes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So the marketing mm-hmm. and the business mm-hmm. side, right? How mm-hmm. are we getting students there? Which is which is a big thing. Just understanding in business. How do we get customers through the door? That's right. How do we get That's followers right. to come to right. try right. to figure out what we're doing? So we got marketing, yep. we got business. Then you said you went and you did the, the research to learn even about the about the marks and then even just the it's design. Fabric and fashion. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I was not. And a lot of people, they'll mistakenly think that I went to school for this or, uh-huh. you know, everyone. I did not go to school for fashion at all. <laughs> Never want to misrepresent that. Uh, but. Uh, so it was just a learning curve that I was about to embark on. Man, yep. so, and, and, then we, and then we fast forward to today. Mm-hmm. We've been in business how long? Uh, we've, we, this summer, we are five years in the market uh, as Reveal Suits. Uh, so 2018, the summer of 2018 uh, was when we got our first uh, two sales, two football team sales. Uh, but prior to that, year and a half, almost two years wow. of just, you know, again, that research, that that grind work that nobody sees. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That 15 months of just to get the licensing uh-huh. approved by the NCAA. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a process, man. How hard was it to get the first, how hard was it to, to convince the first team to say, we want to do business with you? How, how difficult was that? You know, I, um, <laughs> so I'll tell this story and I, I laugh because I, I was even naive to it myself. How difficult was it? That part wasn't even difficult. Mm. We got we got Florida State and Baylor pretty much after my first cold call because they loved the product. Mm. And so I took that to think that, oh man, we off to the races. Yeah. It's about to be a breeze, <laughs> right? Uh, and man, you know, as you as you continue to grow, that is certainly not the case. So um, mm. you know, there's just a myriad of things that come up uh, with running a business, with having your own media company whatever the case may be um so yeah was it difficult actually no Mm. but has this been difficult along the way yeah yeah what what would you say has been like the most because like i know i see a lot of student athletes Mm -hmm. that you know want to get into apparel because they want to do like the Mm -hmm. Mm t-shirt and i'm not i'm I'm just putting those in the same category you know both of them get put on you know yeah Yeah, it's apparel. apparel what would you tell them to watch out for? Like just, like just in this space, if you think this is something you want to get in, like what, what are like three things, like watch out for this or mm. be aware of this? Um, who's your audience? Uh, you know, do you have a specific audience or do you have, or are you wide ranging? Mm. Now, whatever that answer is, that's how you have to operate, mm-hmm. right? So you, you can't say, oh, I want everybody to have, but you only sh- show you know, young black males. For sure. Or I want, oh, I want every, I want only, you know, I want to appeal to young black females. But you got, you're doing too much with your marketing, right? Um, So know who your audience is and whoever that is, proceed accordingly, right? Mm -hmm. Um, What I would also offer too is, you know, when you are, if you are committed to starting your business and running a business, your time is no longer your time, Hmm. right? Uh, you may be used to scrolling IG and scrolling Facebook and watching countless NBA games, you know, every, every time it comes on, but it's got to run. And last time I checked, it ain't going to be no more than 24 hours in a day. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. I don't think that's ever going to change. Mm-mm. So if I really want this, something else has to, something else got to give. Might have to jump off Facebook, which I've done. Might have to jump off whatever, Instagram, remove the apps off your phone. Like, if you're really that serious, you gotta take the measures. You gotta take the measures. I didn't, um, for those who are, who are married, such as myself, I didn't do the best job of that. Um, you know, starting out, come home, angry, you know, mad about whatever, and I would bring that energy home. Mm-hmm. And she just sitting over there like, Dude, I'll, I'll give it to you tomorrow. Cause this, <laughs> cause today, today ain't it, right? Um, but there were times that I was being 
unfair to her. So, you know, you just got to, you got to know that there's a lot that comes with it and you got to be prepared for, you know, I've never, I've never, before starting this business, when people used to say, oh man, I'm stressed out. I'd be like, how can you be stressed out over something? Man, live life. Isn't it? It's a real thing. It's a real thing. Uh, and so I've, I've had to do a lot of adjusting uh, myself and, uh, you know, know when to, know when to disconnect. I uh, still don't do the best job of that, but, uh, you know, it's part of the grind. So yeah. I'm still learning. For sure. I'm still learning. For sure. So, so what's, what's next in the business? Cause like, like we was talking about before, I was telling you, I said, I see you, you know, I see you at a different school here. I see you at a different conference, mm-hmm. you know, working with these athletes, those athletes. Like, where, where, where's the next level of elevation for the business? Cause I know you got the competitor in you. Like, oh, yeah. what, 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 what does that look like if you want to give us some insight or you uh, know, what's, what's coming up? Um, we want, to, we want to have a little bit more presence in the professional sports world. Uh, now, professional sports are different. Uh, you know, again, our, our niche being the collegiate model, uh, you know, your alma mater will always be your alma mater, mm-hmm. right? No matter what. 30 years from now, I'll still be a long one. 50 mm-hmm. years from now, I'll still be a long one. Uh, professional sports is different. You know, I could like the, the Packers one, one year, and yeah. then I can switch. This is true. <laughs> you know? Uh, so professional sports is different, but we do want to have, you know, whether it's professional team executives, whether it's the opportunity to engage more with players um, and leverage those hopeful player relationships with their alma mater, right? Mm. You know, so maybe we can do some type of a tie-in with Bijan Robinson now, who's a pro, but he's a Longhorn. Mm-hmm. So is there mm-hmm. some type of, how many of those relationships could we forge? So. Uh, getting into the professional ranks, uh, that's that's on the horizon for sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I got I got I got to just ask. Okay. With with NIL and mm-hmm. with your business, have, have, have has, has this affected your business? Has this impacted it? Or, or, or like, is is there any plans there? Are you doing anything there with this space? Yeah, we've uh, we've done a couple of a couple of small test runs. Okay. Uh, I think we're the ideal business for for NIL mm. um, because we can take care of this young man, young lady, even. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but we can do that in a way that benefits them. But now, if I get, again, just using the, I guess, Bijan as a year ago when he was still a high sc- uh, college student, athlete, mm-hmm. uh, yes, I can get a deal with the likes of a Bijan Robinson, put him in our suits, and it still benefits Texas because you're showing the Texas brand, hmm. uh, and that's why I think we're, you know, we're we're very ideal for for NIL. Now, we have to we have to have the have to have the capital, you know, the the, the big the checkbooks to uh, to take care of these uh, young men and women, which they which they deserve. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I wish that was around Man, when, when, when I was playing. So uh, hey, by all means, uh, you know, I hope they do very well uh, as a business owner. We have to make that decision to say, okay, I got X amount of dollars, can only go so far. So, so far. allocate some to this young man, young lady. Allocate, maybe I try two, maybe I try four. Yeah. But that's just where the business decisions have to be made. I but we you. would love to have a constant presence with mm-hmm. NI, within NIL. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I get it. So we're, back. we're gonna shift, shift gears. Okay. But before we shift gears and get into uh, the, these last few segments, I want you just to let the people know where they can find you, follow you, and connect with you and Reveal Suits. Yes, Reveal Suits. We actually have a uh, showroom down in the Deep Ellum area, uh, 3900 Willow Street, Suite 100. Uh, come check us out, you come in, fully customize your suit. Again, male and female, we got you covered. Uh, social media, everything is at Reveal Suits, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, even uh, everything's just at Reveal Suits, even our YouTube channel. So uh, we have some pretty cool stuff going. So uh, we're, I, I like to think we're a good follow. Hmm. Yes. Yes. That's good. That's good. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Now we're going we're gonna to get into the, this, this rapid fire segment. I'm okay. I'm going to ask you some, some, some questions and you're going to, this is, I like to call it the this or that. Let's do it. It's going to be one or the other. Okay. Let's okay. do it. Okay. Double-breasted or single-breasted suit? And it's either this or that. It's this or that? It's this or that. <laughs> Personally, single-breasted. Okay. Personally, single-breasted. Okay. But that double is, 
That, that double is hot. That double it's, is a bad it's thing. It's coming back. It's coming it's back. A bad for sure. thing. But personally, single breast. Traditional bow tie? Tra well, no, bow tie or traditional tie? Traditional. Okay, okay. Since you said traditional, silk or like threaded? Silk. Uh, silk. Okay. Yeah, silk. Okay. Yes, sir. Do you, uh, do you eat chicken by any chance? I do not. So you don't eat chicken? Okay. okay. I do not, and I'm, I'm going to admit something uh -oh. here right now. Uh -oh. It's going to shock everybody. <laughs> it's a reveal that I hate to reveal, but I'm allergic to poultry. I cannot eat chicken. How do you get your protein? I'm seafood, I'm steak. Oh. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hurts me to say it. Man. Sorry, sorry y'all. Man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No poultry, no bird. If it's got feathers, I can't, can't eat it. Man. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Small gathering or big party? Big party. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's yeah, all big. I got. Well, wait, wait, wait. I got one last one. Okay. Audio books or podcasts? Podcasts. I, I just got to know, what, what, what's your top three? What are you listening to now? I just got to know. Oh, um, man, I'm Bomani Jones. I mm. uh, love Bomani Jones. Okay. Uh, and then kind of the complete opposite of that, but still in the sports world, the Dan Levitard show. He's good. Yes. He's good. Yes. He knows his stuff. Yeah. That is, that, that's a very underrated podcast. Uh, and then Draymond Green. Draymond's a personality. Yes. I, 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 yes. Can, I can appreciate Draymond that Green. he knows. Like, he's one of those people that, that has the insight and has the ability to control the media. That's right. He knows if he says certain stuff, yeah. he knows it's going to do what it's going to yep. do. Yep. So, yep. okay. Yeah, okay. I enjoy his podcast uh, because he's, he's always open to other players coming on, telling their stories. He's he's. He loves to promote his fellow players, even though they are, you know, competitors during mm -hmm, the season. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he keeps it real, man. So yeah, sure. I'm a uh, I'm a sport I'm a sports podcast type of guy. I got you. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Now this is the this is the winner circle of the week. Okay. So this is the opportunity that you get to spotlight a person or persons that you feel has been flying under the radar, but you've seen them doing great work, and you just know mm. that they're out here getting after it, but you just feel like they haven't received their just due. Mm. And this could be this could be a business owner, this could be an athlete, whoever. This this is your winner circle of the week. Oh man. Um that's a great question. You know what? I'm going to uh and I'm a bit biased here, but one of my best friends, uh Shaniqua Richard, shout out to my girl Shaniqua. She is an amazing grant writer. Mm, uh okay. she founded uh, Richard Consulting, uh, a few years back, stepped out on faith, stepped out on our own. Uh, we have those talks about that ain't that not being the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> uh, but she is an amazing grant writer, uh, really kind of just now starting to, you know, make her way through those ranks, getting bigger contracts, bigger clients. Uh, she's she, she's hot, and you know, not only here in the DFW area, but. I know she services other clients as well. Mm, She's trying okay. to expand okay. her reach. So shout out to my girl, Shaniqua Richard, Richard Consulting. If anybody needs grant writing, expert grant writing, uh, she's the one. Okay. Yep. Okay. Shout out to her. Shout out to her. Yep. What's one tip that you want to leave for a student athlete? It's not going to always work out. Mm. <laughs> uh, and we were talking, you know, so, something else we were talking about off air. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a great example of that. Uh, you know, I came out highly rated high school, number three, number four player in the state. Mm. Went to camps with the likes of Garnett, Allen Iverson. Uh, you know, so I was in that world. Got to college, started for, you know, a better part of two years. Uh, then I stopped working. Mm. Stopped working, uh, you know, and it's only natural that if you, if you're, if the work that you put into it, if that drops, your production's gonna drop. Man. Right? Um, I used to, uh, I used to be hesitant to tell that story, but then when I started coaching, oh, I couldn't tell it enough. Mm. Couldn't tell it enough. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because sure. you say you wanna be great, but you're not doing what it takes to be great. Mm -hmm. So 
listen to me when I tell you that, that, that there, there will be a consequence of, you know, you won't, you may not fulfill that dream. So, uh, and then when it, when you don't fulfill it, the reason I said it, you know, the answer to that question was everything, it doesn't always work out. Then, okay, it takes some time to process that it didn't work out, that you're not going to fulfill that NBA, NFL dream, whatever it is. Number two, how long are you going to wallow in that? And then number three, what's going to be your, uh, your action item moving forward? What's going to be your, that first action item moving forward? Once you've come to terms with, man, I'm just not going to make it. What's that first move? Just good. Yep. So um, just got to be real about it. But if, if you want to be great, be great. But do everything that it takes to, to, to accomplish that. Or plan B will be put into effect. There we go. Is, yep. there, is there anything I didn't ask you that I should have? Or, or something on your heart you just want to share with the oh, people? Oh, man. I'm a, you know, really just kind of in the spirit of today. Uh, number one, thanks for the spotlight. Thank you for um, you know, honoring Reveal Suits in this way. In the spirit of the day, man, it's, uh, you know, it's just all about the guys coming up next, the guys and the young ladies coming up next. Mm -hmm. um, and so I just want to continue to be a, uh, just a source of encouragement, empowerment uh, for any and every young person, student athlete or not. Uh, just want to continue to empower in any kind of way. So um, again, thanks for the opportunity, uh, but I certainly want to continue to provide the message of uh, empowering those young people to keep striving for greatness. There it is, there it is. Uh, once again, we're live on location here, uh, Highland Park High School Camp Exposure. Camp Exposure. The day three, they did the career fair, and we're, we're, just, we're just wrapping up here. I'm Jonathan Jones, this is Beyond the Ball, where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree.